Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a chit chatty one and um, doing my makeup. Blue shirt does mean work day. It is about 9 45 in the morning, so I do have some coffee. Excuse me, gotta have my coffee. Mm -hmm. So, yesterday I did a video and I even mentioned in that video that my camera has been doing some wonky like stuff. And I don't know if there's like a face tracking or something because this is a new phone. I've still not learned all the ins and outs of it yet. Um, let's make it do that. I don't know if maybe my um, little camera stand is loose and then where I'm like bumping my table a little bit. But it, that doesn't see that's a bump. That doesn't that's not what it's doing. It's kind of shifting and it's the actual camera part. Um, going to moisturize while we're chatting. And. It was so bad in that video yesterday, I, I just had to delete it. I was not uploading it. And because about 30% of the video, the whole video is shifting around. That gave me a headache watching it. But anyway, yesterday, was a t it was a terrible day, guys. It was a terrible day. I was in tears. And I'll tell you what happens. Just, you know. Got up, got ready. I had so many errands to run. A lot of it was um, about mom's estate, stuff I had to get done, needed to get done. And uh, as soon as I get my makeup on, I'm getting ready to go out the door. My neighbor calls and she says, Shannon, you have a water leak outside. There's a pipe out there that's spewing water everywhere. And I'll tell you why. When we bought the home, there was a mobile home over here beside the house. They used to have a mobile home before the bank would approve our loan we had to pull that mobile home out um and i haven't primed my face yet i'm getting ahead of myself let me grab some primer this is that little prime time sample i'm trying to use up so i went outside and there's a pipe about this long sticking out that's where they pulled the trailer out and it was their water line <laughs> excuse me still sick um yeah, and it's spraying, it's, it's like, you know, spraying water everywhere. So, I call my uncle because this used to be his mother's house. And I'm like, where's the shut off? What do I, what, you know, what do I need to do? Can you come out here if you can? Blah, blah, blah. And my uncle does come out here, but he had told me where the shut off was. But that shuts off water to the whole house. So, we have no water right now. We didn't have water yesterday. Um, so I'm going to have to probably go to the store today and buy some, um, gallons of water. And I may have to go to my mother's house to actually take a shower. <sighs> yes, yeah, so there was that, okay. Got the water turned off. Caught a plumber, I know, but it could be a while before they actually can get out here to do anything with it. I hate being sick, guys. Absolutely hate being sick. Um... So then, I got to get my car, my actual car, so because I've been driving my mom's car a little bit. Went and start where it's been so cold, it got down to like zero degrees, and my car went and start. So I had I had again to take my mother's car. It started right up. So I took my mother's car, took all my paperwork, <sighs> went to the tax office to get the value of her home, the value of the car. And this is just the Fit Me uh, Dewey and Smooth. And that went okay. Went to the newspaper, because you have to do that creditors um, thing in the newspaper for 90 days. That cost $170, guys, to run that little, that little creditors ad in our newspaper for 90 days. Right off the bat, $170. I didn't have that, so I told her I wouldn't do it today. Well, I did actually have it, but um, I told her I'd be back. And the thing that got me so upset was the paperwork that the credit, the credit union, shoot, the courthouse gave me um, to fill out for the estate that I don't understand. And I had it pretty much filled out. And the paperwork on it says you you have to do, and I showed it to her, the creditor's ad, you know, you have to do that. But the way the paperwork was talking, you had to do that 
before you brought the paper back to the courthouse, which is why I went to the newspaper first. And she said, no, you have to do the paper at the courthouse first and get that notarized. So by then, you know, the money situation, um, I mean, just not knowing what I'm doing, plus trying to hold it together for two weeks, going back to work and everything, I just lost it. I totally lost it. And um, called my husband and was talking to him on the phone and he's, you know, like, it's going to be okay. Just calm down and we'll take care of everything. We'll get it done. And I'm like, no, I'm calling the lawyer. I know that's going to cost me out of the yin yang, but I'm just going to call the lawyer that done mom's will and see if if he can help me if it doesn't cost you know like outrageous like I know it's gonna cost several hundred dollars but I don't know what I'm doing I just don't know what I'm doing I don't understand the paperwork I don't understand the legal jar you know the legal wordage I don't understand the steps the proper steps I'm needing to do um, they give you no advice whatsoever at the courthouse of how to do anything and it's just um yeah, I was so upset yesterday. It was ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to take just a little bit of concealer. This is just that room will match. So, yeah, I lost it yesterday. And then, uh, went to my mom's just to check on the animals. My aunt met me over there to go through some of my mom's clothes. Because mom had so many clothes that still, still has the tags. I mean, you know. All over, you know, all over the clothes. All the clothes there in the closet. 50% of them still had tags. So, um, I got a bag of clothes that I might be able to wear. And she got a bag of clothes. Because mom, when mom, uh, was grieving for, for daddy. After my daddy died. She got down to about a size 4. So, there was clothes ranging from size 4 to size 16 in her closet with tags. I mean, it was just, um, and I might be able to wear some of the 16 stuff and my aunt took some of the extra large stuff for my other aunt and she took some of the medium sized stuff and a few large things for her but yeah <sighs> so I'll be having a gigantic yard sale at some point in time it was just a rough day yesterday just rough it was not good at all I did go to Ulta after all that because like I, uh, well, I was going to say in the video I did yesterday, um, Ulta is there in Morganton where I had to go where mom lived and I only grabbed two things. I'll show you what they are because I had a little $25 gift card and I, and I still didn't even use all of it, but I got the, um, Mario Badescu, I think I'm saying that right. And this is the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I'm going to try that today. I guess you can spray that over your makeup. Yeah, you use before moisturizers throughout the day or as a final step. Okay, yes. And then I also grabbed this. It was at a really good price. It is the Beauty Gems Illuminator Palette. And I didn't open it, but I will open it to see as long as make sure it's not busted or anything. Because I grabbed this for a future giveaway. So, yeah. That's what's been going on in my crazy life. <laughs> pray for me, people. Pray for me. Because it is just, um, it has gotten... A little overwhelming. This is my um, butter bronzer. And um, I have so many people at work like asking me, how am I holding it together? What am I doing? What, you know? And honestly, when I'm at work, I try my best just to zone all of everything going on out. Um, I know some people can do it, some people can't, but I just zone it out. Just zone it out. Do my job. Focus on the people there at work. And zone everything else out. I just... It's when I'm by myself. Um, like now. It's just me here at home with the, the boys, the cats. And, um... That's usually when I lose it. Is I get to thinking about it. And, um... That's when I lose it. But... I've held together pretty good so far. It's been two weeks. Almost... Has it been right at two weeks? I can't even keep up with my days, people. It's got to the right temperature. Okay, let's do some eyes. And if I would get better, I think I would feel 100% better. But being sick on top of everything just is not, it's not good. This um, primer is about gone. So if 
Uh, time to crack out a new one. <sighs> it's not the way I wanted to start my year, guys. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping after everything in 2017 that happened at the end of the year. You know, I lost my best friend in September. Lost my mom in December. And I just wanted 2018 to kind of start off very positive, and it's not. But you just got to take everything in stride. Just got to um, deal with what you're doing, dealing with at the present moment and just keep on, just keep on going. Just keep on going. All right, Laura Geller. This is in the shade Pink Grapefruit. I love her blushes. Absolutely love her blushes. And this is why. Look how beautiful that is. That's so beautiful. I'm actually going to grab um, a smaller this is the number one out of that BH Cosmetics. This is very pigmented. I'm gonna tap some on the back of my hand. And just give it a little go there. Yeah, her blushes are very, see what I'm saying? And that was tapping on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna wipe that brush off and then just blend a little bit. Yeah, that helped that a lot right there. It was kind of blotchy. Okay, and set my eyeshadow primer. You know, I'm just going to use that Rimmel Stay Matte. And just a big fluffy brush. So I think I'm going to redo the eye look. I did yesterday um, just one because I really liked it and <laughs> two I had a lady compliment me on my um, eyeshadow yesterday and I told her about my YouTube channel and that I would have a tutorial up on that um, in the next day or so and she said she would subscribe so maybe she did subscribe if you did hello good to see you again um, so I am gonna do that I look and I use the Dream Street palette to do that eye look. I love this palette. It is beautiful. I have left it up on my vanity just to, cause it's been my go-to. I'm gonna take this kind of peachy creamy shade here. Same big fluffy brush after I cleaned it off in my switch. And I am going to tap off because these are very soft and powdery. You know, I want to keep this look kind of soft and not so dark. My eye looks always get kind of dark. I don't mean for them to. It just does. Okay. I love this switch, guys. Um, so this is the number five in that set. And I'm just going to come in with a little bit of this deeper... Kind of terracotta color. And this is the number, what I say, number five. I'm just going to kind of keep this out in the corner and slowly work its way over to the corner. I've done this look before, so. And I may have done it in a video. So if this is a repeat, I'm sorry, but. Keeping this very, very soft. And then I'm going to take that blending brush that I always use and go over the edge really good. Just to soften that up. And then I'm taking my favorite brush from that set and I'm cleaning it off really good. I see flyaways that are gonna drive me crazy. And this is the number seven. I love this brush and I'm coming into that orangey coral color and just tapping the edges. And this is gonna stay right here. 
and working it right on that fold if you have hooded eyes. Staying right on that fold. Patting it in the corner. And then taking what's left on the brush and just staying right on that fold. Let's see if I'm even. <laughs> and if there's anything left on that brush, sweep it down a little bit. And then, I don't need that brush. That little brush um, that came with um, that cargo palette works really good too, but now I don't see what I've done with it. So I'm just going to take my little bitty pencil brush that's just a generic, I don't know where I got it, I can't remember, but I use this one all the time. I mean, it has got a teeny tiny little um, point, and taking that terracotta color, orangey color, and sweeping both of them under. Like that. We're almost done with this look already, guys. Just super fast. And then I'm going to take a... We'll close that palette because I'm basically done with that. It's just a soft... This is just an eyeshadow brush, but I'm going to come back and just... Sweep it under there just to soften that even more. Okay, and then I'm going to take that little pencil brush again... And grab a black um, I'm really liking the black that's in that elf summer breeze palette I have a NYX single that I usually go for it's over there in a little drawer so I'm just gonna grab this one mm -hmm. hold on mm -hmm. yeah perfect is this right the right temperature so I'm just gonna take the end tap into this black and up with the lash line, which you can use your liner. I'm just going to smudge some black. About two thirds of the way over. And then underneath. Just a hair over halfway. I think that is it for that. So that is my eyes done. Just like I said, super fast, super easy. Oh, but the lid shade and the lid shade, I'll just use that, that black brush I pulled up there. I do believe I used this shade yesterday, this one. That's what we're going to use today. And... Should have done this before the black, but just very lightly. Pat that on. I'll bring it up just a little bit onto the hood. Like that. Now we're done. <laughs> now we're done. I was about to forget a step. Okay, um... Lash Paradise and NYX Control Freak, and it is time for a new Control Freak, or I might do an e.l.f. brow gel this time. Um, and I did look at, while I was at Ulta, there's a hair sticking up right there. Not wanting to lay down, so it may get yanked. I may yank that one. <sighs> but I didn't, I ended up not getting one, I ended up getting the other two things. Because I think um, 
I'm going to just do the uh, elf brow gel this time because it will save me a little bit of money and it is good as well. And this is just Lash Paradise. I really love that Tarte Mascara and I've been using it pretty much every day since I got it in the BoxyCharm. But guys, let me know below. Are you experiencing um, flaking with it? I don't know if it's just me. But I have noticed a few like mascara flakes at the end of the day on my cheeks. But I love that formula. It's I mean it's a it's great on my eyelashes. I love the brush. I love it. It's just um I think it's a little flaky on me. So we'll keep trying it. But this is the um Try and chew Lash Paradise. And I think we're almost done. Highlights I put up in the drawer. So I'm going to grab that real quickly. And the one I used yesterday, this is pretty much the same exact look I did yesterday. See, Makeup Revolution. This is the Skin Frost in Golden Kiss. Yes, it is. And this is just the e.l.f. highlight brush. It's so pretty. Just so, so pretty. And before I put my lipstick on, I do want to finish my coffee. And there's quite a bit in here, so I will do my lipstick later. And the lipstick I'm going to use is the... Marc Jacobs. This is um, their new, it says liquid lipstick, I think, but it's in a crayon, and this shade is called Sin Nudes, I do believe. I'm trying to find, yes, 300 Sin Nudes Liquid Lip Crayon. That's what these are called. These are fantastic, guys. These are fantastic. Um, they glide on like butter. I mean, seriously, like butter, and they stay on really well. They don't, they don't dry completely down, they do dry a little bit, and they're, they do transfer, but they're so good. They're really good. And we're going to try that Mario Badescu today. And what else are we going to do today? I don't know. Um, probably it. Go to work and come home. All right. I'm going to take, well, pardon me, I do have that little bit of Vaseline on my lips, but I think we'll be okay because it's about rubbed off, so, see what I'm saying, like butter, I mean, they feel so creamy. This is fantastic. <laughs> and I did get these from um, Influencer. I got this one and I got another one. Freebie. This one, I used this one in the um, previous video. And this shade was uh, Flaming O, like Flamingo, but it's Flaming O. So I got both of those from Influencer. If you've never been on Influencer, you can get free items. You can get like free makeup, free snacks, free just whatever they have on there. You have to do like reviews, a lot of reviews and surveys so they can determine, you know. And then once you have your items, you do have to um, review them and um uh, do them on your social media to say that you've got them and you have reviewed them and that kind of thing. So they do check all of that. <laughs> but yeah, um, everything I've got so far from Influencer, which it's only been like three things, I have loved. So that's that's been great. So yeah, that was my day yesterday. And I hope today's better. We're going to try this Mario Badescu. Let me see. Let me get it going. Come on. Oh. Oh. 
I like the smell. I smelled it in the store because they had all three. They had the rose, they had the um, cucumber, and what was the other one? Lavender. I smelled all three, and I picked this one because I like lavender, but I don't like to wear lavender. And I'm not a big um, rose scent, like in products kind of thing. I like natural roses, like the actual flowers, but I don't like the rose scent in products. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I picked this one. It smells really, really good. It smells really refreshing. And we'll see how that does on my skin today. And that one eyebrow, eyebrow sticking straight up is going to drive me nuts. So, I don't know if I can get it. There we go. It's gone. All right, guys, that is it. Um, we're kicking at about 25 minutes, so not bad for a lot of chit chat. Um, but yeah, just a really simple look. I'm going to go redo my hair because it's already fallen down. And see, it's already drying down. It's not as creamy as it was. It's already drying down. But it is it is transfer proof. So, I mean, I, it does transfer. All right, guys, that is it for today's look. Um, I absolutely love that Dream Street palette. Love it. If you've not gotten it yet, it's $16 at ColourPop. It's, it's, it's totally worth it. It is totally worth it. All right, guys, that's it. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys on the next one. If you've not subscribed, please do. Uh, I will be doing another giveaway probably when I hit 500, and I'm already starting to grab little things here and there to put in the giveaway basket. And um, to my previous giveaway winner, your item went out yesterday, but I've already contacted you with the information, so you know that. But, you know, just, just putting it back out there. Your package has already gone out. Should be there Friday. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one.